Welcome to our video on the mind-body problem. One of science's biggest mysteries. One of the most intriguing aspects of this problem is the question of how we can be aware that we are thinking if we are our brain and body. In this video, we'll delve deeper into this question and explore some of the latest scientific research on the topic. But before we do, remember to subscribe for more great science and philosophy videos. What is the mind-body problem? The mind-body problem is a philosophical issue that concerns the relationship between the mind and the body. It involves trying to understand how mental states such as thoughts, beliefs, and emotions are related to physical states such as brain activity and bodily movements. At the heart of the mind-body problem is the question of whether the mind and body are separate entities or whether they are intimately connected. Dualists, for example, believe that the mind and body are two distinct substances that interact with each other. Materialists, on the other hand, believe that everything, including the mind, can be reduced to physical matter and that mental states can be explained in terms of brain activity. The mind-body problem has been discussed by philosophers for centuries and continues to be a topic of debate among scientists, philosophers, and psychologists today. It is a complex issue with many different theories and perspectives, and it raises important questions about the nature of consciousness, the relationship between the brain and the mind, and the limits of scientific inquiry. To understand how we can be aware of our thoughts, we first need to understand the concept of consciousness. Consciousness is the awareness of one's thoughts, feelings, and surroundings. It is what makes us feel alive and gives us the ability to experience the world around us. The latest scientific research has shown that consciousness arises from the activity of the brain. Different areas of the brain are activated when we think, feel, or perceive the world around us. However, despite advances in brain imaging technology, scientists still don't fully understand how the brain gives rise to consciousness. One of the most intriguing aspects of consciousness is the fact that we can be aware of our thoughts. If the brain and body are one unified system, how can we be aware of the thoughts that arise in our brains? This is known as the hard problem of consciousness. One way to explore this question is through meditation. Meditation is a practice that involves focusing one's attention on the present moment. It can help us to become more aware of our thoughts and feelings and to observe them without judgment. Studies have shown that experienced meditators have different patterns of brain activity compared to non-meditators. This suggests that meditation can lead to changes in the brain that allow us to become more aware of our thoughts and feelings. Another way to explore this question is by observing the impact of emotions on our thoughts. When we experience strong emotions, such as fear or anger, our thoughts can become clouded and we may lose our ability to think clearly. This suggests that our emotions can influence our ability to be aware of our thoughts. Mindfulness is another practice that can help us to become more aware of our thoughts. Mindfulness involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. By practicing mindfulness, we can learn to observe our thoughts without getting caught up in them. Therapy is another way to explore the question of how we can be aware of our thoughts. Therapists can help us to become more aware of our thought patterns and to identify any negative or unhelpful thoughts that may be impacting our mental health. In summary, the mind-body problem is a complex issue that involves the interconnectedness of our physical and mental states. While we still don't fully understand how the brain gives rise to consciousness, practices such as meditation, mindfulness, and therapy can help us to become more aware of our thoughts and feelings. By paying attention to our mental and physical well-being, we can cultivate a greater sense of awareness and live more fulfilling lives.